Nate actually was still asleep and I had to wake him up so that wasn't good but I was like stressing out the whole dream I was so relieved to wake up and find that was just a dream but then daddy comes home and he's like the party Welcome to another daily vlog. If you just stumbled across this channel or this video and you're new and you've never seen us before, welcome. My name is Jess. I'm a mom of three kids. I am a wife and I vlog our life over here on our YouTube channel. I would love to have you stick around, hit that subscribe button, and follow along. So, y'all, we've had such a lazy morning. It's Monday for us. Um, David got up this morning and took our van to the shop. Um, it like is having issues. It died on me and going down the road, kind of scary yesterday. And so he took it to a shop and I had to get all the kids in the car, <laughs> which I should have known, and got went and picked him up and took him to work. Um Nate actually was still asleep and I had to wake him up, so that wasn't good. But I think he was about to wake up anyway. I had just a rough night of sleep, so I have been dragging so much this morning. I don't know. I just, I took a nap yesterday, and I don't know if that's what messed me up, but I normally take Sunday afternoon naps and don't have a problem, so I don't know, but I just was up to like one in the morning, and then I kept having these like awful dreams. They weren't anything super serious, but they were like stressful. Like in one of the dreams, um, we were at a birthday party. It was like Lucy's birthday party or something we were throwing. And I forgot a bunch of stuff that we needed. I don't remember what it was. And I had to run to the store. But I ran to the store and I couldn't find the thing I needed. And like the whole birthday party was going by. And I kept going to stores and couldn't be able to find what I needed. I was like stressing out the whole dream. I was so relieved to wake up and find that was just a dream. <laughs> and then at 4 a.m. I heard Nate up. I was like, oh. No, if you're new, Nate has autism and he struggles with sleep. Um, and I was like, bud, it is way too early. You've got to go lay back down. And thankfully a miracle occurred. He went and laid back down and he fell back asleep, which that very rarely happens. So I am considering that a huge win. Um, but then it's just been kind of a crazy morning going to take David to work. We had to go to the um, our church campus and they're finishing the floors today. So we had to let them in and because David doesn't have a car because we're down to one car with ours being looked at today. I was late driving him around. Then we came back home and have just been chilling. I just got a shower and made the kids lunch. So I'm hoping to like get on with the day and get some work done. I need to do some YouTube work today. I need to do some housework today. Um, I'm going live on a Zoom call with my gold tier Patreons tonight, so I'm excited about that. It's just like a lot of little stuff. Um, I made the kids some grilled cheese for lunch, but for Nate's, I did a pizza grilled cheese. I did like sauce and mozzarella on the inside. I'm not really sure how he likes it. He doesn't really like different foods, um, so he tasted it. So I was proud of him for trying it. I didn't even say anything to him about it. I just gave it to him. He tasted it. But he's not like devouring it. He's, he's kind of eating around it. So we'll see how it goes. But I want to tell you guys that sandwich maker I got at the thrift store, brand new, the Cuisinart. I'll link a cheaper one down below. Um, it has transformed our lunch game because the kids are actually excited to eat sandwiches and grilled cheese and stuff. I've heard you can even make like dessert. Um, like put like dough down and make like little pies or... And there's so many different ideas. We've just really stuck to grilled cheese, but <laughs> they love it. Like they would eat it every day, especially Lucy. And she's not a big sandwich person. So if you are struggling in the summer, do y'all know how cheap grilled cheese is? And it makes it like something exciting that they want as opposed to, hold on just a second, as opposed to something that is like, mm. <laughs> um, so it's a lot, it's like a really easy, cheap and fast little meal. Um, also, if your kids like peanut butter and jelly, those homemade Uncrustables, super easy, super cheap. My kids don't, Nate's allergic to peanut butter. They don't like the taste even to do sun butter and stuff. They don't like it. So I'm, I'm not even going to worry with that. But um, if you get something like that, it kind of helps lunch be more fun, you know, not that it has to be fun, but I just feel like it helps, you know. 
because at right now they would choose grilled cheese over like pizza. Pizza's expensive right now. Have y'all like looked at frozen pizzas? <laughs> Me and David went to Kroger on our date night and I was like, oh, I need to pick up some more DiGiorno pizzas. They're $4.99 on sale this week. And he was like, wait, $4.99 is the sale? I'm like, yeah. He was like, well, we don't have to get DiGiorno. Just get like the cheap, like Red Barons or whatever. I'm like, those are more expensive than $4.99. He's like, what? Now, when Red Barons are on sale, they're a little bit cheaper than that. But um, just regular price, he just couldn't believe it. I'm the one that does the grocery shopping. So, yeah, he hasn't seen prices in a while. So, you know, we try to do, we do frozen pizzas. We do, you know, things like chicken and different stuff. But, um, you know, throwing in some cheaper meals definitely helps stretch the budget too. So anyway, I'm going to take you guys along with me today. I'll show you guys whatever we do, whatever goes on. I'll let you guys know what our car is going to have to be fixed. I don't know, um, how that's going to work out, but I'll let you guys know what they say. Update on the mouse situation. We had mice. We moved into this house. They came in and <laughs> it has been two weeks of just like me being afraid to come in this bathroom. Like I'm totally scared and everything. Y'all knock on wood. I don't know if there's any wood in here. Knock on wood. I'm pretty sure they're gone. We caught the last couple. Um, the ones that ate the chocolate and all that. Uh, it was like a baby one and a mommy one. And um, we have not, we've put traps out for like the last three or four days since we caught those. We have not heard them, seen any droppings, ha caught them, nothing. So we know they're not getting in because we sealed up the place they were getting in. So we just had to like get the ones out that were still here. We're pretty sure we caught all of them because we've not heard anything, seen anything. The traps, we got some really good traps that are very sensitive and they haven't caught any. So, um, yay. <laughs> the last night was the first night I was actually coming in this bathroom to go to the bathroom in, in the middle of the night. So that's, I, I feel so good. <laughs> we can actually not be afraid to use our house. So anyway, thank you guys for your prayers. I know some of you have, are in similar situations with the weather turning hot and all of that. And I'm praying for y'all. <laughs> so it's an ordeal that I don't want to have to do again. But anyway, um, I will see you guys in a little bit. It's like noon right now. So um, I'm just going to start some laundry and make myself a big ice water. And I'll see you guys back in a little bit. Okay, guys. It's 2 o'clock. I just finished my lunch, brunch, whatever you want to call it. My first meal. Um, here's a picture. I had roasted sweet potatoes, cottage cheese with everything bagel seasoning on it and uh, crushed red pepper. And then on the potatoes, I put taco sauce. And I'm really loving the one, the new one I got, the Erdes Taqueria sauce. I've tried, this is the third one I've tried and I've liked them all. But I got this one on sale for $1.59 at the outlets. So I need to go and see if they have any more because that's a good price. They're like close to $4 at Walmart, which is ridiculous. It's not worth it, but they are really, really good. And then on the side, I had some fruit. I did pineapple that I sprinkled some tahini on. It's like a chili lime seasoning. It's so good on fruit. And then some blackberries. I am cold. I don't know why I'm so cold. I think I'm just tired. Um, we have not heard from the car. David tried to call, but he didn't get an answer. It's like a real small little place. So um, hopefully we'll hear back soon. Um, I I'm assuming I'm going to have to go pick him up later from work and um, all of that. But we've just been kind of having some chill time. The kids have been playing and I've been reading a little bit um, and just relaxing. So there's nothing really to report. I'm going to load the dishwasher up with all of our dirty dishes um, and kind of clean up a little bit after lunch. And then I'll see you guys back in a little while when we all get doing something more interesting than this. All right, you guys, we had our quiet time and now we're having snack time. Here's my little second meal. Y'all know I always do a snack plate if you've watched. So today I have two ounces of nuts. I finished off an ounce of these were left. So I have an ounce of those and I had an ounce of these and now this is empty. These are so good. The sriracha cashews, so good. So I have two ounces of nuts. I have two ounces of this hatch chili pepper hummus from Sam's. I maybe have one to two servings left. I'm almost done with this big thing of hummus. Um, but having hummus with my veggies really makes it more enjoyable. Six ounces of veggies. Um, technically this hummus counts as like a fat. 
is what it classifies as. Um, and it's really good because you can have two ounces. That's actually a lot of hummus. Six ounces of, of vegetables, like I said, broccoli and carrots. And then six ounces of watermelon. And I am going to put more tahini on it. Let's get it out. Where is it? Right here. Um, the tahini on the pineapple was so delicious. So I'm going to put some tahini on the watermelon. This is what it looks like. Um, it is so yummy with, especially I like it on mango, pineapple, and watermelon. It's really, really good. It just adds, I don't know. You have to try it. Layla's watching me because I have carrots out. So David just called me. David just called me and said the guy is having trouble. Of course, the car is acting fine with him. Y'all know how that goes. Um, it just went off on me. Um, with the kids in the car so we're like nervous about it but he said they checked the sensors because we've been having issues with the gas light or the gas cap sensor and they reset everything and he's going to be right now getting the car up on the lift to check all the sensors out and see if he can notice anything um and we're sure, just waiting to hear back he said if he doesn't find anything he's just gonna have to give us the car back until it happens again which i'm like I don't want it to happen again. Um, so in just a little bit, we're going to go get David from work um, and either go pick up the car or just bring him home. He has to go back out to the second campus tonight to do some work with our team. Um, so it's just going to be kind of a crazy evening, but y'all stay tuned. We'll do it together. All right, you guys. So it's now 630. Um, they did not find. Hold on just a second, Nate. Nate. Um, they did not find anything wrong with our car. They reset the sensor that was going off. They checked all the sensors. All of them look fine. Um, nothing looks out of place. Everything looks like fine. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, he's like, you know, it could be a fluke. Drive it. If it happens again, bring it back. I just don't want it to happen again because the car just like turned off in the middle of us riding, driving. Maybe, maybe it was a fluke. I don't know. Um, so they can't make it recreate what happened to us. Obviously I hate when that happens. Um, it's like when you take your kids to the doctor and they don't act sick, <laughs> that's kind of where we are. So I went and picked up David and then we went and got the car. He came back home and he immediately got in the car and left to go to our campus because he's meeting the team there to do some work. Um, they finished the floor today. So they're really trying to get stuff put in rooms and it's exciting. I feel like I have been run over by a truck. I don't know what's wrong with me. I just feel so exhausted. We haven't done anything today. I didn't sleep well, but I don't know. I don't know why I would feel so exhausted just from not, I don't know. I just feel like run down. Um, so the kids have destroyed it. Mark has destroyed the living room with toys. I don't even care. <laughs> we'll deal with that later. He's playing. He's being good. He's just making a mess. So we'll have to clean up at the end of the night. Um, I fed everybody dinner. I do not know what to eat at this point. Like, I'm not really that hungry. I just, what do you have? Letters. I'm bathing the boys right now. Mark just got out. Nate's in the tub. Cool. Decorate it. Whatever that means. Um, I just want something fast and easy. I don't know what that would be. Mark just dumped out more stuff. Um, maybe I'll do like a big, uh, what do I keep saying bacon? A lettuce wrapped burger. That'll be fast. Something like that. Um, I'm just not really that hungry. I just, like I said, I just feel completely wiped out. So David, hopefully will be home in a little while. I'm still planning on going live on my zoom call tonight. I wish I had more energy right now. I just, I don't know. I don't know what is wrong with me. One night of sleep being weird should make me this exhausted. I hope I'm not getting sick or something. Surely not. Maybe I'm just I don't know. Extra tired today. Um, when I have dinner ready, I will show you guys. I don't want to cook. I don't want to do anything. <laughs> I'm trying to think like what would be the easiest. I could heat up some more beans and do like a salad. That um, queso bean dip thing I made yesterday and wrapped it in lettuce. That was really good. I don't know. Nothing sounds particularly great. So when I come up with something. I'll let you go. Something with like buffalo sauce sounds good, but what could I do? I could do like a buffalo sauce burger. Cheese. But cheese and cheese. a little bit of buffalo sauce, a little bit of ranch. 
or even like avocado and buffalo sauce sounds good. I don't know. I don't even know if I have any buffalo sauce. I don't think I do. I have hot sauce. I have hot sauce and I have fire sauce. I guess hot sauce would be the same kind of flavor. All right, you guys, when I have dinner ready, I'll show you. You found the eight? H. Cool. Um, I'll see you guys back in a little bit. All right, you guys, I went with Old Faithful. Lettuce wrap burger has cheese on here and ketchup, the sugar-free. I really like this stuff. I wish it wasn't quite so sweet. It's a really sweet to me. But just a little bit on there is really good. So it's just a burger with cheese and ketchup and then wrapped in lettuce. I also had a big bowl of baby carrots while I was making dinner just to amp up my veggies. And corn on the cob with a little bit of seasoned salt on there. So I'm going to have a big glass of water with this and this is dinner. Okay, that is always simple, but it is always a winner. I love lettuce wrap burgers. It's super satisfying. Um, by the way, the seasoning I put on the corn is my new favorite seasoning, and it's pretty cheap. It is the chicken seasoning from Kroger, and all that's in here, it says like garlic, herbs, and spices, but if you look on the back, it's like paprika, onion, garlic, and then it just says spices. It has a little bit of a kick to it, um, but if you go pretty light, it's not bad. Like, it's not very spicy at all. It's really good on chicken. I put it on a roasted veggies, roast like oven, microwave corn on the cob. It adds so much flavor. The kids are getting ready to call Grammy and Grandpa in a few minutes and FaceTime. Hopefully David will be home soon. It's now 7.15. I am still tired, but it was a really good meal. Just kind of straightening up the kitchen, putting everything in the dishwasher. Um... I'm hoping we get some more stuff done tomorrow. We still have a lot to do left on our summer bucket list. Um, but there's not a whole other amount of stuff that we can do without having to go to the store. I mean, there's some things. Like, we could do a dance party. A sidewalk chalk. I don't know if I have any sidewalk chalk right now. I need to get some. Um, and then there's, like, some recipes we could do. But I don't know if we have the stuff for it. We're definitely going to do a movie night soon, game night soon. Um, but anyway, we got to get working on this. Um, also, probably tomorrow I need to go to the grocery store. We only have about half a gallon of milk left. Um, I went on Friday and just got like produce. So we're pretty good on produce, but we're running low on like I have maybe two ounces of cottage cheese left. So that's sad. I have like less than half a gallon of milk. I need to get some like ground beef. Maybe we could do tacos or something because everybody likes that. So I don't know how to work out. I think I should be able to go tomorrow night, maybe. Hopefully I'll have more energy. I don't know if I need to like take a melatonin tonight or what, but I just need to sleep better and stop having weird dreams. <laughs> it's yeah. kind of crazy. What do you have? Oh, you have some goldfish. Okay. Um, but anyway, Nate, how was your day? I forget everything Nate said today. It was so funny. Oh, we were in the car and I said, Nate, tell us something. Tell us a joke. Make us laugh. And he said something about wedgies. <laughs> Total 11 year old boy humor. And I love it. I grew up with brothers. So I love the boy humor. I think it's hilarious when he comes out with stuff. And then we got David and then we had to drop him off at the car place. You know, twice we've had him in our car and he's gotten out. Um, this morning we took him to work and then this afternoon, you know, we took him to the car place and then he came home and then he left again. And Nate said, we keep getting daddy in our car and he keeps going outside. <laughs> Didn't you say that? <laughs> you keep trying to get daddy and he keeps leaving, going outside. I was like, you're right. Everybody was not happy when daddy had to get out of the car. Daddy is the fun one. Let me know in the comments if you're a parent. Are you the fun parent or the not fun parent? I can be fun, but out of the two of us, daddy is definitely the life of the party. They all get excited when he comes home. I think that's just like a stay-at-home mom thing. You're there with them all day. You're the one taking care of them. You're the one cooking for them, doing all the stuff. Not that we don't have fun. We do. But then daddy comes home and he's like the party. So they all love when he comes home. What happened? It's working. It's working. I don't know. That's going to be it for today. I'm sorry if this was boring. It was kind of a boring day for me too. Not every day when you vlog every day can be exciting. Um, but 
We're all happy. We're healthy. We're tired, but we're happy, healthy. There's no mice in the house. That's a praise report. Um, there's nothing we think wrong with my car. You guys just help us pray that everything is still safe with it. Uh, we're going to be careful. Maybe David can drive it for a few days. Not that I want him to have any problems either, but before we like load up the kids, you know, um, also my mom and dad left today to go to Iceland. <sighs> they get to travel so much. I'm so jealous. Not really. I mean, I, I'm so happy for them. <laughs> I'm so happy for them. They're going on like a cruise, like a three week cruise and all this stuff. Must be nice one day, right? And he's saying maybe one day we'll get to travel. I don't know when that will be, <laughs> but I would love it. I love, I grew up like going and traveling and doing stuff. And you know, it's hard when you're a parent and you're, you know, you, it's not as easy to just do that, but I am excited for them. Although I'm not going to get to talk to my, I used to talk to my mom every single day, but I'm not going to get to talk to her. It's like, I remember when they went on that world cruise and I didn't get to talk to her for like three months. That was awful. But anyway, I'm sure they'll have fun. She um, called me a few hours ago and said they were in New York and they were about to fly from New York to Iceland. But I think they have like a long layover tonight and they don't leave until late tonight from New York. And then they fly like overnight to Iceland. So super exciting. Anyway, I love you guys so much. If you like the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and definitely subscribe if you're new. I'll see y'all tomorrow.